Hello everyone, and welcome back for the final episode in our Alien Isolation playthrough. My goodness, what a terrifying and tense experience this entire game has been. It's been fantastic for Spooktober, even though it kind of ran past Spooktober, and the tension doesn't let up all the way until the very end. I loved this game. It really felt like I was right inside of one of the movies. Now, I have managed to get my hand on both the DLCs for this game, which will be videos that come out after this, so technically this is the end of the Alien Isolation, but yes, the DLCs will follow. And if you curious what's going to be kicking off on the channel after the Alien Isolation finishes up. Dead Space is the winner and my goodness I hear that I'm in for another terrifying ride. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on those when they start hitting the channel, if you haven't already and you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, you'll know exactly when part one gets here. Without any further delay, let's get in here and wrap up this amazing experience that has been Alien Isolation. Path Terminal. Alright. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, I walked this far and like almost had a heart attack. <laughs> this game is amazing. Oh. oh. Yikes. Oh. The fact that that's the first one that's broke down on us, kind of impressive, actually. All right. Where are we at? Oh, we don't even know where we're at. Point of interest. Oh. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'd like to. I'm trying to. Oh, crap. There's a flaming Joe out there. Uh, oh, that's a nice discovery. <laughs> I feel like I'm being led to a trap. They're, like, they're putting all these little, uh, like, breadcrumbs. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I'll take this, I'll take that, I'll take this. And then it's like, alien at the end of the trap. <laughs> okay, is that thing still there? Will it? I, I don't want a synthetic warden. Oh crap, he is still here. Yep. You probably are going to catch me if I'm not careful. Yeah, your safety protocols are way out of control, dude. Check this place out, okay? At least something is wrong. Great. Oh. As long as that droid doesn't come back. Where are you going, alien? Can I get through here or is it too close that fire? Okay, good. Ooh. I'm glad I can at least see over this a tiny bit. Gosh, that thing is like resilient. It's not giving up at all. That's not a direction I need to go, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, going down there. I'm fine with that. Oop. Run off. Look at this, it's refusing to leave. Okay, there it went. Oh great. Is this something I need to access? Uh utility? Oh my gosh. I don't think I need to access this. I thought there was a utility or something on here I needed. Okay, here we go. Sinclair uh, Madonka? I, I don't know how you pronounce that name. 
Uh, we rounded up everyone we could find and are camped out in the rec room. The security systems we discussed is rigged up, but you won't be able to get in the old way. We caught a stranger sneaking in. After a couple of hours, we, he confessed who let him in, and we threw them both out. We've only got limited space and supplies here, and we've got the we've got to control who gets in. If they want in, they've got to bring something to the table. What you need is in the usual place. I don't want to say here, but you'll know what I mean. I changed the code to 1984. Actually, it's a good thing I looked at this probably. Uh, use what you find there. Of course, we'll need to make sure you've got the supplies you promised us, but we'll check you upon entrance. I'm... Uh, how do I, I'm, how do I select it so I can go down? Mm. I can see it on the green screen underneath. It says, I'm sure you've got what we need. After all, I vouched for you. I'm not quite sure how to page down here. Did I click the little arrow? Oh, here we go. Uh, I vouch for you. Don't make me regret it, Jake. Okay. 1984. Okay, that turned out to be useful. What about you? What do you got? Shut out Denver. Is anyone there? It's Denver. I'm back with the supplies, but I'm locked out and nobody's answering. What happened? Was there an attack? It's getting worse out here and you have to let me back inside now. My wife is in there. She'll tell you who I am. I have supplies. Someone please answer me. Okay. Oh, no codes in that one. <sighs> okay. Uh. Okay. Oh, put you away. Q. Let's uh, refill this thing. I've had to do a couple blasts. Man, that thing was like trying everything it could do not to leave. It was like, uh, you're going to have to do better than that. Okay, I see the number panel thing here. I thought for sure. The exit was over here somewhere, but I guess not. Nope, I'm blocked. Okay, they end up walk around a little bit. Oh, we got some floating paper. What's this? Oh, key card required. I need to find that key card. Let's go over this way to this thing. My guess is this is where we got to punch in this code. Okay. One, nine, eight, four. Take the key card, please. Okay. Oh, it's tempting to just try to flamethrow and get that thing to run off again. This isn't really a hiding spot right here. Yeah, I ain't chancing it. Oh, I thought it was circling around to get to me. Okay. Quick, let's put this in. Okay, what's gonna open? That over there. Okay. Don't you grab me. Oh, I saw that android there. I thought sure maybe it was going to try to grab me. Okay, it just dropped down over there. I should have a brief moment here. Okay, we're going this way. Orbital stabilizer failure. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Crap. Make this quick. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. I heard it go back into the vent, so I know it's out here somewhere. Door's locked. Oh, I'd love to get to explore all this area. It looks fun. Something tells me I ain't doing that. Okay, I walked past. Find alternate route. Okay. 
Oh, they gave me bolt gun ammo. Makes me think I might run into another Joe. I haven't seen one here for a minute. Ooh, no entry. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ooh. Doesn't look like things went well for you. Um, oh boy, no. Stay on here. Okay, let's see if this vent will get me in there, because I don't think I can cut through that. Can I use my... Okay, I can use this in here if I need to. Stay away, alien. Ooh, I think I heard it drop down. I think it dropped down in that room, though. Oh! Oh, crap! Oh! That scared me so bad! Oh, did I grab the key card? Okay. If you're listening to this, then you're on the team. We've sealed the habitation sanctuary. There's one way in, one way out. I've still got raiding parties heading out to lose supplies and weapons. But it looks like we shut it off just in time. The Sikhs and synthetics have started moving away from their stations. I've seen a trail of strangled bodies in public areas. So, be aware. Oh, and if you're listening to this and we're not on the team, don't come find us. We will shoot. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, so we got the key card thing. I need to go that side of the room. Okay. I tried to get it to where we could listen to that. Hopefully you guys were still able to hear it some. Do I need to, like, disengage this? On this thing here. Did it see me? I mean, the music and stuff sure made it sound like it saw me, didn't it? <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's not go through the door. Hopefully that's not gonna hurt me. Those sparks, that is. Oh, am I going the right way? <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Okay. Uh, I guess... I don't even know what path would begin to lead that way. Okay, it looks like maybe there's a door right here or here. Now, this one protrudes out a little farther. This must be where I need to go. And it branches down this way because I don't see anything else. Oh. It's right here. Where's he at? Where yet? There it is. It says I need to go this way. You stay out there. Stand up and walk. Oh. Oh, my skin is just crawling. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. There it is. Yikes. Oh, crap. It went up. No. No, no, no. That always at least relieves a little bit of tension. Just because I'm like, okay, at least if I die now, 
I don't have to redo everything I had done up to this point. Uh, okay, this leads me into... Okay, here's another room. Oh! Oh! Oh, dude! What was that? Yeah, run off. Scare me like that. Oh, that was so mean. Oh. Let me out of here. Oh! Let me out of here. Oh! Gosh! <laughs> oh no! I'm looking at my OBS. <gasps> my heart skips so fast. You see how many times I hit the swing button? <laughs> Oh, I got to go back over there and restart the generator. What is that? Oh. It's cruel. That's what that is. Sounds like there's lots of them now or something. Oh, why does it keep dropping down like that? Get back up. No. Man, he is not leaving. I'm in trouble. This guy is like really starting to resist leaving when I need him to. And he's dropping down so aggressively right now, too. That just freaks me out even more. Oh. <sighs> okay, I feel like I was robbed there. I know they're supposed to do like the drool thing to let me know the alien is sitting there. I don't remember seeing any drool there. I went the entire stretch without getting caught by him. I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, load current save. I know we're past the hour mark, but I kind of feel like... There's no real good stopping point at the moment, and we definitely feel like we're nearing the end of this thing. So I kind of... Oh, I gotta go do this again. So I kind of want to just keep on going. If it turns out to be two hours, I'll just split it somewhere. Oh, that's what he did. He came through there. That little hole. I wondered where he dropped down from. Okay, yeah, walk off. Okay, oops, wrong button. So I was ready for that this time, too. Okay. Right. Oh, there he was. Or there one was. I don't know. Maybe there's more than one now. Oh. Keep walking. I'm watching his tail. I can barely see it. Oh, he went up. All right, I'm squatting when I go underneath this vent up here. Just in case that's what I have to do to try to get past this thing. Yeah, see, there's no drool coming down from there. I wonder if that's something, if I'm standing up, I'm just supposed to get caught. Button. At this point, I'm like, start, starting to wonder if I can find some more flamethrower ammo. Okay, he's in the room that I need to go to, I think, at the moment. Where are you going, dude? 
Oh. 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 He sees me. Yeah, which way are you going? Huh? You should run off. Look at him. He's being stubborn. Yeah, he's like, we'll dance. Yeah, run off. Oh. Gosh. So terrifying. Yeah, but yeah, at this point, if it turns out to be too long for a single episode, I'll just split it somewhere. Not the way I like to do it, but it'll just be what we have to do. Yeah, I thought I heard it come down again already. Oh. And refill that. He's doing so much standing still. Now the generator is the thing right on the other side. Yeah, okay. Come on, dude. Go back in the, the ceiling. I mean, I could throw a noisemaker or something to try to distract him. Oh. He comes in here. I had somebody say that he will notice your flamethrower if you bring it up. I'm going to try not to do that until... Synthetic Warden. <laughs> it's right on the other side of this wall. i to change out my flashlight battery. Oh, this is wild. He looks like he's a little ways away, but the problem is my back is turned to him if I... Where you going, dude? Okay, I'm trying for it. Restart. Oh, am I gonna have to do this three times? Quick, 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 quick! In here. Find alternate route. So I'm not going out the same way that I was trying to a moment ago. That's got to be where I got to go. Yeah, I think that's just supposed to trip like that. Oh, great. What's with the music? Where's it at? I don't know if I'm a fan of this music or not. It sounds cool. Oh, you know what? I think it's been enough time. Okay, it just dropped down. It dropping down over there is good. It means it's behind me. Oh, it's so hard not to go sprinting. Is it still in there? There it is. Oh, it might have seen me. Is it running this way by any chance? It's still all the way over there. Let me in. Oh, is this vent the only option? This is terrifying. Oh, and it just went into a vent. No! Let me out. Oh, crap. Oh, it's behind me. No! <laughs> okay. First of all, it made the sound like it dropped out of the vent, not into a vent. 
I want to point that out. Okay. All right. Go, go, go. Just walk. Calmly. Turn off the flashlight. Duck below the glass. There it is. Stand up and duck. Ooh. Okay, stand up and duck. Ooh. He sure looked like he was looking at me, didn't he? Oh. Get back up there. Gosh. Do a little sprint. Uh, play you. Grab you. Climb in there. <laughs> Can't hear any of it. You can read the text, I guess. Maybe. Alright, is there a... Yeah, there's no opening behind me. That's the right spot. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many people are left here. Bernard's who I'm most, most bummed about on that. Okay, find a way for the Torrens to dock. After evacuation, do not re-enter the station until advised to do so by the orbital emergency convener. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not a huge area. Hopefully this isn't going to be too crazy. It's kind of quiet here at the moment, actually. Rip Sevastopol. Man, we have been here a while, haven't we? It does almost feel like a, like we're leaving a friend or something. That thing's going to come jumping out here at some point, isn't it? Oh, I did not like that thing being open. Oh, and I better be writing because there's any more of those little face hugger things. Oh, I think I recognize where I'm at. No, I don't. No, this isn't where I thought it was. I thought this was like the beginning where we first came in. Are we backtracking? Like all the way back to where we first came out at maybe? Can I get in here now? I feel like this is one of the last things that has been waiting for us to get into that we came across like at the beginning. Okay. What do we got here? Another Nostromo log. I'm about to broadcast the Nostromo report packet back to the Sol system before we hit the pods. Nearest open relay station looks to be Sevastopol. Um, all things being well, you'll hear from us once we reach the edge of Seoul. Don't miss us too much. Dallas out. Hmm. I still love the fact they've sprinkled some of the logs from Nostromo in here. I feel like the music and stuff's finally calming down. I can take a second, take a breath, gather myself to freight shipping. Find a way for Torrens to dock. Extend the tow platform beneath the space flight terminal. That's freight shipping. Passenger lounge, departures. Yeah, this primary airlock, is is that where we first came in at? Like, all the way back at the beginning? Maybe it was over here. Actually, I think it was this over here. Uh, what, what are the different floors? Immigration office. Arrivals, departures. Transit station. Beneath the space flight terminal. I don't see anything labeled just straight like terminal. Although I guess my little uh, 
detector thing can probably point in the right way. All right. So where are you telling me to go? I'm wondering... All the way on that side. That's why I was wondering, because I was looking at this. And I think it looks like there's a door over here. So it's like we've been all this direction, but we have not been that way. So that's what I'm wondering. Can I go straight across now, though? Oh, yep. Looks like I could maybe cut my way in there. My goodness. This definitely feels like it's about to fall apart. If I'm not, like, floating towards the exit of this thing, I'll be amazed. Oh, deep breath. Deep breath. Got it. A moment here. The alien is... Give me a little bit of a break. Let's, let's take it all in, Ben. Enjoy the calm, because you know it ain't over. There will be more. Mm. Yep, okay. This way. Woo! 17th mission. Free the Torrens. Oh no! <laughs> My alien friend's gonna be down here too, isn't he? And probably a handful. Probably a handful of Joes too. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here! Ripley, thank God, I hear you! I need you to extend the dog cradle plants quickly. There are two. Should be close by. Great. I'm hearing the alien music again. Don't you grab me! The eyes. I knew it. Now the eyes are white. You're supposed to be friendly. I haven't done anything wrong, apparently. I can't tell if it jumped down or not. Uh, oh, this one's locked. Let's have to do the other one first, maybe. Or am I looking this wrong? Oh, they're up. They're up that way. Okay. Gosh. Fire everywhere. Am I in the right spot now? Okay, I am. Where's the... Where's the terminal I'm supposed to interact with? I don't need to go into the vent, do I? Ooh. 25 of the 50 tags. Okay, I'll look around here. Oh, here's, here's something over here. Okay. Oh, here we go. E. 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 Oh. I feel like it's easier for me if I just, like, hurry up on the last one. Don't overthink it. Okay. I don't think I saw one here on the other side. Oh, it's not all on. I gotta get power to it. <laughs> no! <laughs> It couldn't be that easy, huh? Okay, so all the cables look like they went down into the vent. Do they come out somewhere? Access terminal. Anything here? Nope. I'm maxed out on all those. Okay, I was trying to avoid going into the vent because I'm just terrified the alien's going to grab me. Okay. It sure sounds like it's walking around. It's hard to hear much of anything at the moment. Oh. This is absolutely terrifying.
gosh. Don't you do anything to me. Okay. Do I have to follow the, the other cables now to something else? Safe. Alright. Man, dude. You look fresh. Down to 150 on the... Uh, the flamethrower. That's starting to feel kind of low. Looks safe. Music makes it sound like it's not, though. Okay, which one's it gonna be? Same thing, okay. And, uh. <laughs> oh! Where, where are you jumping out from? Where are you gonna jump out from? I know you're going to. There's no way you don't. Go down to utility. Initiate. We're late. The docking clamps are engaging. Okay, now find the up control room. What? <laughs> I just went out. Oh man. Okay, I think I gotta go back to the. Oh, look at those going across there. Is it out? I was gonna try to look. All right. Let's do this. Oh, it's nearby. Something was moving over there. Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Maybe it's already out up there. Flamethrower ammo, please. Yeah, bolt gun stuff. Uh. Gosh, I cannot believe this station has not just straight up blown up. I mean, look at this. These are like gas pipes and stuff. All these flames and things. Oh, crap. Alright. Another save down. Dude. All that bonding agent. Oh. Wait, there is no personnel umbilical. It's long gone. What? Wait, I think I can use the maintenance rig instead. If I can find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Be careful, Ripley. This better work. EVA suit. Uh, extended. That's it. Get to the airlock. Is that up here? Looks like that might be up here. Hopefully that's up here. I'm going down the front of this. Oh, no, it's not up here. I gotta go back down. <laughs> I don't like this ship. I don't like the space station anymore. I'm ready to go. At least I did find a little more uh, flamethrower ammo. My guess is the alien's gonna make it onto the the the, the torn before I do, though. That's what I'm a little nervous about. Oh crap! Oh, I need to heal up. Okay, it went down. I just saw my health. Uh. And flamethrower. Can I save again? Yes. There we go. That way if it catches me, I don't have to like redo the the stuff up there.
Did it go like all the way down or is it just... Like, can it see me through the floor? Oh, there it is. Okay, it went straight. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, if I could get it to come back out and then go up the stairs, that would be like perfect, right? Did it go back into the vent? Oh, here it comes. It is back above me. It must have went through the vents. Oh, dude. I heard you running. Oh, where's that airlock? Get me out of here. Oh. Gosh, I'm almost out. Oh. Give me that suit. It just got quiet. I don't know if I like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Was that scripted? Or did I just die? <laughs> oh crap. I haven't had a hugger already grab a hold of me, have I? Do I need like tap E to get out of here? I'm tapping E just in case. We got a live one right there. Fuck. We got an egg right there next to us. Oh, we got a bunch of these. Did it like just carry them up here? Oh, back. Oh. <laughs> it was right there. <gasps> okay. Deep breath. We got this. Okay, I think also at this point it is definitely safe to say that it's going to be a uh, two-parter. I'm going to have to break the video up. Oh crap. Do I need to be careful about... Oh, there it was right there. I saw you. Oh, I do not have much left. This thing's about to blow, and this alien is still trying. Oh, crap. Give me all these shotgun shells. But does a shotgun. Oh! There were two. Oh. So we're just. Okay, thank goodness. I was like, please tell me it picks up, like, here. Okay, it's giving me these shotgun shells. I'm gonna try. Starting with these. Maybe the alien's not an issue right now. Oh. Did I get both of them? I think I got them both with a single shot there. Yeah. Oh, it must have came from behind. Okay. This part's a little tedious. No, I'm going to save that for when big guy gets back. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with this. Yeah, take care of you. 
At this point, I think I, I need to like just memorize where all the live ones are. Ooh, I'll take that. There was another one, was there? Like face hugger thing. It's hard to tell on some of this. At least we found more flamethrower. That's nice. Okay, got you. I don't know where that that other one came from though. From here. Yeah, it's behind me. Yo, those ones are getting torched. Oh my gosh, there's no way she's still waiting for us, is, it? is she? Okay, where's my flamethrower? Although she's probably like, everything's extended, where's she at? She might, she might still be waiting for us. The Torn, that is. Oh, come on. I feel like I just heard another one open up. Thank you for that. Oh! Gosh, dude. Oh, boy. Gosh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do right there. Just walking right behind it. <laughs> oh, this is not cool. Not cool at all. I'm just trying to walk. Oh. Oh. Jumping so hard right now. This is ridiculous. Amanda, let's get off this thing already. I'm as over this station as you are. 100%. Okay. There's like no save point through all this, it seems like. Familiar area yet? recognize this area. Thank you. Well, that's the first time we've seen more than one hop down at once. Saving. Jesus! <laughs> Just let me make it through here. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you, girl. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, how do we, where do we go? Oh no, I'm on fire. <laughs> Didn't know that could actually happen. Oh. I thought I was dead. I tried to backtrack real quick. I didn't even know it was that like dip down right there. Too close. I agree. Is there a run? Man, I'd be all for like running and then some alien gets wiped out by one of these things falling. How much you want to bet I go up and then I need to come Oh, and then I
Just need a second. It was so loud. I was expecting to go up, see something, have to come back down. I was not expecting the little cutscene thing that just got my heart to stop for a while. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. This is just nuts. Great. Can't get in there. Looks kind of inviting. Yeah, let me out of there. I don't know. I feel like that was even worse than the aliens at, at moments. Of course, I say that now. But now I probably got to interact with the aliens again. <laughs> oh, that was just brutal. My goodness. Oh, no power. Of course. Why make it that easy? I don't know how much more my, my heart can take of all this. Oh, and there's... Where you at? I hear ya. I don't think it was over here, maybe. Oh, come on. I'm jumpy. I'm so jumpy. I got 27 left on my flamethrower. Can I get them on the other side before they even get here? I got 17 left. What's this way? Fuel, maybe? Is that where I came in? I don't know, this is where I came in. Uh, yep, okay. Just made a circle. Okay. Whew, at least I got my bearings at the moment. This is so terrifying. Okay, that goes out. To where? Oh! <laughs> Amanda, my goodness. I assumed down, it didn't look like there were up was an option. Let me out. Nope. Oh, that was, that was the last one I got. Where do I go? Oh, that's where I need to go up there. I'm so tense. I don't know Whoa, where to what? go. You're down. I've got a shotgun. Uh, wh where's my um, Molotov? Here we go. Okay. Please wait. Why do I gotta please wait? Okay, let's do this side. 
I don't even know what it is I'm supposed to do. I can hardly pay attention to what she was saying. Oh. No drool, no drool. Okay. Okay. Now she said something about some kind of clamps or explosives or something to that degree, right? Oh my goodness. This is so terrifying. Oh, my heart can't take much more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I have no way of defending myself out here, so I assume there's no, like, alien stuff I have to deal with out here. I can't sprint. I can't swing. I can't do nothing. So maybe this is a good thing. Okay, so I gotta, like, disconnect this as I climb in somehow. Is that what she's saying? this is my screen I'm like walking tilting my head trying to feel like I'm straight up and down this is nuts it's making music like there's an alien behind me oh it's kind of quick Man, the fact that Verlaine has stayed here like this, we owe her big time. Yeah, climb it, forget it. If it's not gonna open, we're out of here. Oh, I just wish I could sprint. Why does it make me walk so slow? I feel like it's setting me up for something. I don't even wanna look behind me. I'm too scared to look behind me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, those look like maybe the two things she was referring to. I'm here, Verlaine. There should be two priming mechanisms to unlock the manual release. I see them. Okay, what do I do? Just smash the button? It's probably not going to be that easy, is it? Oh, I gotta go in here? No, it says that's locked. Maybe behind? Oh, here we go. A key card required. Oh! Okay. I'll take that. There we are. Ooh! Oh, I gotta walk around to the other side. Can't have it where I just climb right back up on that, can I? Oh, this is crazy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Down. Take this. Put it in there. Do I got a certain amount of time to try to... Okay. On activation clamps, I would say something about five minutes? Uh, activate. My goodness. There's a lot involved in this. Do I gotta do this four times? I think I saw a little note on there said something about upon activation you have five minutes. Okay. Keep going. So far, so good. You know, the crazy thing is if this is supposed to be like some emergency release, it's not very fast. Usually emergency type stuff, you need it to act, you know, somewhat quickly. This is not that. Oh, 
Oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. There's another. Ah! Hit the button. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, that was nuts! Oh! That was insane! Relaine, I'm Get on my way bridge. up to the bridge. Now, is this going to be typical alien style where there's one last encounter, there's one that managed to sneak on board with me, something to that effect? I kind of hope it doesn't. Oh, do, can I get out of the suit or do I got to stay in the suit? That makes me a little nervous. Okay, I recognize this room. Oh no, do I need to do something in here? Oh. Did she take off the helmet? What was that? Relaine? Yeah, this is really weird that it's being so quiet. Use button. Oh! Should have known. What do I have to even defend myself with? Uh, move left. Move right. Did I not do that right? Wait, what? No, surely they pick me up. There's no way this just ends with me being shot into space and... Okay, I'm assuming the light means my character was picked up. And if what you guys have said about she died of cancer or something like that this is Ripley. at a particular age, a later age, I mean, it could be a cover-up story. I get it. That obviously happens from time to time. But I'm assuming the light is she got picked up. We hit the button. Both us and the alien got sucked out, which then got the alien off the ship. And then hopefully, hopefully Verlaine went and picked us up. I had a feeling when they didn't have us get out of our spacesuit. I was like, there's something, something weird about this. Nostromo. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. What a game. And yeah, that we're like right at two hours. So I hope I can find a good spot to split it. I guess I could keep it as one two hour final episode, but that's going to be a really long episode. We'll see. I'll probably split it into two videos. I think that would work better. Uh, speaking of that, I do plan on playing the DLCs. I know there's two of them. I've heard they're really short. They might end up just being like one episode each, which I plan to play right after this. So if you're wondering, yes, that's coming. Oh, man. I tell you what, I don't know if it was a smart idea for me to pick Soma and Alien Isolation to play at the same time. 
because both of these games just kept me on such edge. So much tension over the course of both of those games. But this was absolutely fantastic. It felt so... I felt like I was inside of one of the movies. And that's what I keep hearing from people. And this is what I, I have heard from many of you. It's like the reason this Alien game is so good is it feels so authentic. And you guys have given me some awesome like backstory and stuff on the game too. Uh, like the developers of this game, when they were working on it, I guess they actually had the Alien movie just playing on loop where they were working. So at all times they could look up, get references to, you know, things that were just in the scenery, things that were in the background, the atmosphere. That's a brilliant idea. Just to kind of like immerse yourself. Man. What a fantastic game. And the fact that the alien, the AI, the way they designed that was brilliant. I mean, if you're only going to have kind of like one main enemy, but that enemy is just constantly after you, this is they needed to give it a personality of its own. You you felt like when that alien was after you, you felt like there was an actual creature after you. And the fact that it learns and adapts to the way that you do things. Absolutely amazing. The Working Joes, they were okay. Interesting little twist, uh, having them as like part of the villains. I got a feeling that was one of the things they, they put in here so that they could build up the tension so that we weren't straight encountering with the alien. I kind of feel like they were a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say filler, because they definitely had a, a piece in the story all of their own, especially with Apollo and everything behind that. If there was one criticism I would have, I wish there was some more development with Samuels and Taylor. Both of those characters were like almost out of the story for most of this. And so then when we reached stretches where they were in danger or they were about to die. I didn't really get a, a gut punch from that. You know, I wasn't really emotionally attached to these characters. I feel like the, the final line of Samuel was good. I like that. That was a, uh, you know, I just wanted you to be able to get closure. You know, he, he gave his life some meaning by trying to help uh, Ripley get closure on her mom. I really liked that. Um, Ricardo, gosh, I, I feel like Ricardo was definitely the one I was closest to out of all of them. So it was a bit of a gut punch when we found that he'd been hit by a, a face hugger. That sucked too. There was nothing we could do for him. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> oh, this game was amazing. I'm so glad I got to play it. And it's on the channel now. So like anytime I'm like, oh, I want to see that. That's like, uh, I want to go back and, and re-experience that. Oh, it's such an immersive game. It was a great choice for Spooktober. So as far as favorite points in the game, I would say once I started using the shock rod, you know, the shock, the, the stun rod thing, and I could use that on the worker Joe's, and then I had the flamethrower to kind of help defend myself against the alien. Those were both really good moments for me. It's hard to pick a favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite spot in the game because I feel like the whole game is like one big experience. Just one long tension. <laughs> sure, there's moments where there's some lacks you know, some relaxing in between there and, and some stuff, but uh, I would definitely say the explosions. There was a couple of times where the explosions got me really good. Uh, I think I think one of my favorite jump scares in the whole thing uh, was, I think, episode seven. And, you know, that right where that first explosion occurs, but that alien just 
jumps down suddenly right in front of you after I was just like running out of that one area. That felt like a real uh, like alien movie moment. I knew I wasn't going to die. You could tell it was kind of a scripted thing, but the way they did that was just it was so good. I really liked that. Um, yeah. Absolutely fabulous. You guys have to let me know in the comments what was one of your favorite moments in this game. I've heard some of you guys have like played this multiple times on the crazy hard levels. Um, dodging the alien and everything else. You guys are amazing, okay? I mean, I'm not saying that I'm like great at this kind of stuff. But to think of trying to do that on its hardest level, not just being torn apart the whole way through, big credit to you guys. Impressive. Okay, well, I'm going to wait, and um, I'll do a swoosh here towards the end of this credits and see if there's anything on the other side. Nope. Okay, that's it. Like I said, I'm going to play both those DLCs after this, and if you're curious what's coming up after this game, I believe I'm going to be diving into the Dead Space series. And my goodness... <laughs> I don't know what I'm in store for there. I just know it's like extremely scary stuff. I guess I'm, I'm just on this little track record right now of scary space games. I just hope my heart can take it. I hope my heart can take it. Anyways, if you want to make sure you're around for the DLCs or when that starts and you want to be alerted to it, if you haven't already, you want to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It helps me out. Hopefully going to help you out as well. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, everyone. I'll see you on that next video.